All right, so we're going to do this again, but now we've got the big stand of trees in between us and the castle. Now I realize this is not drawn to scale. Um, this is 10 meters tall. This is 20 meters tall. This is 215 meters. Okay, so we've got something in between us, so we're going to shoot it higher. Let's go 55 degrees because that's going to go higher because, again, 45 is maximum range. Um, we're still going to shoot 50 meters per second because that's what our cannon does. So let's see what happens. So again, we're gonna go back to Desmos. And our first step was always putting you know, 50 sine 55, 50 cosine 55, finding our X, our Y and X components to the velocity. Right, then our first step after that was, um, let's find out how long this flies for. So that, again, well, that was like VF equals VI plus AT, right? Except our VF, vertically is zero at the half point. Ooh, that was, I didn't realize that. They could put subscripts in for us. Ooh, it's only if they're numbers though. Oops, okay. So our velocity is zero at the top. Our vertical velocity is this. What's nice about this is I don't have to care about rounding and typing numbers. I'm just gonna copy and paste. And negative 9.8. And then again, it wants X. All right. So our half time is 4.179. So let's just might as well find our full time. Two times. And I wish there was a way I could tell it to use this. This would solve for X. But since X is so generic and it uses it for everything, it's not going to do it. 4.179. Unless maybe I could assign. No, I can't even assign it. Um, yeah. So, total time. Well, total time, again, that's horizontal time. So, we're going to put it into, you know, DF equals DI plus VIT plus one-half AT squared. Uh, one-half A, whoop, A, T squared equation, right? Um, so, we're looking for D. We know our DI is zero. We know our initial velocity, again, we're talking horizontal. Where does this thing land? Where does this hit? Here's our horizontal velocity. Okay. Um, our time is that uh, Z, that 8.358 seconds. And our acceleration is zero, so this whole term goes away. Okay. So we landed 239.675, it's like 240 meters. So. We actually get beyond the 215. Okay. Again, but are we coming, you know, how are we hitting, are we hitting this thing? Are we coming at it like, you know, this and going to hit it? Are we coming at it like this and going to miss it? Are we coming, you know, so that's, that's what we got to find out because, you know, we don't know. Um, so we know we get there, so that's important. So now we want a vertical equation for D. So, you know, D equals D plus VIT plus one half AT squared, right? Okay. Um, again, our one half AT squared is negative 4.9 X squared. Our VT is going to be our vertical again. It's vertical, vertical, vertical. Okay. Vertical. Again, T is going to be X. And as always, we start at zero. And again, I'm going to call that height. So here's what we found out. Hey, our full time was 8.359. And I got 8.358. Uh, that's just rounding again. How high does this thing go? Does it clear those trees? Well, apparently, because the trees were only 20 meters tall. And well, depending on where the trees are, if we put them in the middle, yeah, it clears the trees because... In the middle, this thing is 85 meters in the air. Okay, so it clears the trees um, for most of the flight. I mean, yeah, literally, if the trees are 20, um, when is it ever below 20? Uh, right here is 20. So, uh, like, from this time to this time is the only time it wouldn't clear the trees. Uh, so, now, so we know we get there. We actually know we go beyond. 
We also know we clear the trees because this vertical equ distance equation is showing us 85 meters. Well, how long does it take to get to the castle? You know, that's important. So 215 equals, here's our horizontal velocity. Um, and then X. All right. So how long does it take to get to the castle at this, at 50? Well, it takes apparently uh, 7.497 seconds. All right. Well, we knew it wouldn't be. I mean, it's flying for 8, 8.359. So, so, yes, okay. So now here's the question. The blue line is when it gets to the castle. The red line is how high it is. So we need to see if it's going to hit the castle wall. And what it's telling us is that it is, when it gets to the castle, at that 7.497 seconds, it is 31 meters tall. Actually, almost 32 meters up in the air. And our castle was how tall? Our castle was 10 meters tall. So, no, we actually missed the wall. We go beyond the wall. We land inside the castle courtyard kind of thing. Um, maybe we actually even hit the back wall, depending on how big this castle is. Um, because it was so, but do we hit the front wall? No, we missed the front wall. We go beyond it. We actually go over it more to the point. So that's what we did. So again, we did the cos the sine and cosine. We used our sine part to find the half time. We doubled half time to find full time. We used, full, we used the full time and our horizontal velocity to find the range, how far this thing goes. Then we created an equation for height using our vertical speed and our gravity. So it's just a distance equation. And then we found out how long it takes to get to the castle wall and looked at that intersection of the blue and the red and said, hey, when it gets to the castle wall, it's above the castle wall by a whole bunch. Ta-da.